give an honor to our Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus Christ, our pastor, everyone uh, in the service today, you know, uh, all honor, praise, and glory uh, goes to God. Amen? Amen. 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 Yeah. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. The risen Christ is with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Our affirmation of faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered the cross of Father, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. But the man to come to judge is quick and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We give you the Father and to the Son and to the
believe it. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Our scriptures, the Old Testament reading, coming from Jeremiah 29, 1 through uh, 4 through 7. 1, then 4 through 7. I read by Sister Priscilla McClary. The church say amen. amen. The church say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. The song we just sang say, hold to his hand. Amen. To God's unchanging hand. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody need to grab hold to a hand and let God hold your hand. Because yes. sometimes we tend to let go. Mm. Our attention leaves and God, if we look to God, we say, God let go our hand. No, we didn't. We let go of God's hand. Yes. Our scripture, Old Testament scripture is coming from Jeremiah Chapter 29, verse 4 through 7. Now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the resi residue of the elders, which were carried away captives, and to the priests, and to the prophets, and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away, captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. Verse 4. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captive, whom I have cared, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem and Babylon. Build ye houses and dwell in them, and plant garden and eat the fruit of them. Take your wives and beget, son, and beget sons and daughters, and take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to the husbands, that they may hear sons and daughters, that ye may be increased there and not diminished. And seek the and seek the peace of the city, whether I have caused you to be carried away captives and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. Amen. Thus I have read from, Jer from Jeremiah chapter 29, 1 and 4 through 7. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. 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 Our New Testament reading will be uh, read by Brother Basil Chisholm. It will be uh, Luke 17th chapter uh, 11 to the 19th verse. Right after we have prayer, our sister Betty Connie's a selection uh, for my choir, our, our praise team, and our message by our pastor, Reverend Larry uh, Craig. Let the church say amen.
there are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith had made thee whole. Amen. Word of God, people of God. Thank you, God. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on and tell the Lord, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The Lord is my shepherd this morning. And I shall not want. Lord, you make it me to lie down in green pastures. Then, Lord, you lead me beside the still water. Yet though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, Lord, I don't have to fear no evil. Oh, no. For thou art with me this morning. Yes. Father, we thank you, Lord God, this thank morning. You, thank you for the blood that's running warm in our veins this morning. Oh, yes. Thank you, God, that we are not standing before the judgment of God. Yes. You spared us, God, and you give us another chance. Yes. Another chance to tell you thank you for it all. Thank you, Lord God, this morning. We ask, Holy Father, that yes. you would come in in this place today. Oh. Sweep through it, God. Yes. Look on your people, God. Yes. See what better need to bow in. Yes. See what we need this morning. Yes. Some come for one thing and some come Jesus. for another. Yes. But God, we all come to tell you thank you. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord. Yes. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you. For we realize, God, that there's nothing that we've done that caused us to be spared. But God, your grace and your mercy, you have grace and mercy on our side. God, help us to always look to you, God. Help us, God, that you will hold our hands and lead us, God, and guide us in the way that we need to go. Look on our sons and our daughters. Some of them got a broken up heart this morning. Oh, God, this morning. Look on my neighbor's three boys this morning. Oh, God, lead them this morning. Let them know God even though their, their mother go on. But God, you will never leave them nor forsake us. God, you'll be there for us. Oh, God, this morning. If there be any sick among us. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you for touching my body this morning. Yes. Thank you, God, that I'm able to walk out yes. this morning. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We love in God, and there's nothing I've done. Yes, Lord. But God, your grace and your mercy. Yes, Lord. Insufficient this morning. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being our shepherd, God. Yes, Oh, God, and help us to go wherever you lead us, God. Yes. Because thou art a good shepherd this yes, morning. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Look on our pastor this morning. Yes. Yes. As he will come to bring the bread of life. Yes. Oh, God, buy it at our hearts, God. Yes. That we'll walk away safe. Yes. God, I heal, I heal. Yes. I can't hold out no longer. Yes. Look on us this morning. In the precious name of Jesus. Yes. If any be among us, God, that's sick, heal them right now. Yes, Lord. Any spirit, God, yes, that is not yes, like you. Yes. We cast it out right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
feeling. I've got a feeling. Everything. Everything is going to be all right. Uh, 
pray with me, if you will. Our gracious Father, we love you. We thank you, dear Lord, for this a, another opportunity, Father. Yes, Jesus. To come, Lord, and to be in the midst of your people, those yes, who yes, you yes, have yes. placed in my care, Father. Yes. Continue to lead God and, and protect them and to lead me in the discharge of my duty, my service, Lord. Yes. That it will be pleasing within your sight. Yes. And dear Lord, as I stand to share your word with us, your people, on this morning, I ask that you allow the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, dear Lord, that it will be acceptable within your sight. For you are my strength my Redeemer, and the church will say amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. For our time together on this morning, I want to uh, speak to you from the gospel that's been read for your hearing on this morning, the gospel of Luke, the 17th uh, chapter. Uh, we want to be dealing with the verses that's been shared with us on this morning in our text uh, on this morning. And for a thought from that reading of the gospel this morning, it would be, don't forget the source of your healing. Yeah. Don't forget the source of your healing. For we do know that healing uh, comes through forgiveness and, and it's not simply because of we may have done something bad. Uh, but forgiveness is always associated with healing because it is a dynamic force of restoration or restoreness. It is that dynamic force of reconciliation reconciling us back to God or reconciling us back to that life that God would have for us to live. Yes. As the leper in this chapter is healed, uh, there are details within this text that we want to focus on. The leper is to, uh, to report and to show himself to the priest. Uh, this is a picture of the necessity of going to the priest uh, for confession or to receive the objective fact of absolution or forgiveness and healing. Yes. But in our text this morning, we hear the lepers crying out to Jesus for mercy. Yes. They, out of all of the things that the, the lepers could ask for, we find them asking for mercy. Yeah. In other words, they desire uh, a pity. They desire compassion. They, they desire sympathy. And, and most of all, they were crying out for forgiveness. Yes. Surely they knew uh, uh, that they could have cried out for many other things. Uh, but we find them crying out for mercy. When they saw Jesus, I'm sure that they may have asked other people along the way to help them and, and to no avail. But the moment they saw Jesus, they began to yes. cry out and, and asking him, uh, Father or, or Master, will you please have mercy yes. on us? Yes. Yes. When we sometimes are uh, uh, treat other people as outcasts. Jesus. You know, we sometimes for, forget about them. We, yeah, yeah, we yeah. treat them with no sympathy yeah. or no concern and, and all of those things. Now we can, we have experienced something similar to outcasts yeah. as we dealt with this COVID for the past two years. Yeah. You know, being isolated, being locked in your home for some of us and it's just like being an outcast. You know, yeah. you no longer are able to go those places you used to go. You know, when I've uh, uh, experienced COVID, uh, I stay home. Yeah. I stay home for seven to fourteen days, and, and you couldn't go out among your family and friends. So it's just like being an outcast. 
Am I right about it? So, so we all can relate to pretty much what these lepers were going through with this leprosy, uh, having no one to treat them with that love and kindness, if you will. But we do remember one thing if we don't remember anything else, that we can always find a friend in Jesus. Amen. We're right about it. Yes. Even the psalmist says, says that what a friend we have in Jesus. Yes. All of our sins and grief he bears. He said, what a privilege yes. it is to carry. Yes. Everything. Yes. God yeah. Yeah. We find this leper calling on these lepers, Lord, calling yes. on Jesus and, and asking him for mercy. Yes. Mercy. Lord, have mercy on us. Thank you, Jesus. They did not ask the priest. They did not ask the pastor or anyone else. They, they were calling on that strong name of Jesus. Yes. Maybe they have heard something about Jesus. Amen. Maybe they have heard Jesus healing some of the, the other lepers within the surrounding areas. I don't know what they have learned about yes. Jesus, but yes. we hear them calling him Master, yes. Jesus, please have yes. mercy on us. Yes. Imagine them saying this to Jesus. They was only trying to get his attention. Yes. They were an outcast. And they had word that Jesus was passing by. Yes. And it was just like this was our only hope. Yes. If I can just get his attention, if I can just, yes. just happen just to look upon me, yes. maybe then he will have mercy on me. Yes. You know, sometimes you, we have to do a, a, a certain thing and sometimes in order to get someone's attention. Sometimes when, when we are, are children growing up and, and we want to get our parents' attention, uh, sometimes we have to do a certain cry yes. in order to get their attention. If you're not yes. crying the right way, uh, they won't respond. Yes. Huh? And sometimes you hear the, the, the little kids, they'll be crying, they'll be crying and crying. So if they put that serious cry, mm -hmm. huh? yes. or if you know something is wrong, then you'll come running to their rescue. So. I have reason to believe that this is what these lepers were doing. They had to put that serious cry before the master to attract his attention. Yes. And you hear them saying, please have mercy on us. And I can imagine how they look. Oh, the clothes probably was ragged. They probably had soles all over their bodies. Yes. And they were looking to him saying, master, please have mercy. Mercy yes. on us. Yes. Have mercy on They probably yes. call out with the sickly in their voices, crying and saying, Please yes. have mercy yes. on us. Yes. Yes. Evidently, yes. they believe that Jesus yes. could do something. Yes. Evidently, they believe that Jesus was in command over the sickness and disease. Yes. He had authority of all of these things. Evidently, they knew that. Yes. And if we can only get his attention, yes. evidently they believe that Jesus had healing power and that he will be able to yes. hear their cry. Yes. Lord, if you can do anything, yes. or if you can do nothing else, just have mercy on me. Yes. How many want the Lord to have mercy on me? Yes. Lord, if you can do anything else, just, yes. just have mercy on me. Yes. Show me a little pity. Show me a little compassion. Show me a little love. Yes. And this is what they were saying on to Jesus yeah. on that day. Yes. Church, when we call on Jesus, we have to believe that he's able to answer our prayer. We have to believe that he's able to answer our prayer. Yes. We have to believe it within our hearts and within yes. our minds that he is able to do the impossible thing. Yes. This is what these lepers were doing. Yes. And then we hear Jesus saying to them, go show yourself to the priest. Yes. Go show yourself to the priest. Now, mind you, man, you know those lepers, they know that they were outcasts. 
that they were forbidden to even go back into the inner city. And now you're here and Jesus telling them to go and show yourself unto the priest. Yeah. Here I am all loaded with souls and, and bad and, and you're going to send me back to us again. The law said that I can't go back there. Yes. But Jesus said, go and show yourself to the priest. Going to the priest is a picture of the reconciliation of God. Yes. Reconciliation back to that community of faith. Yes. Reconciliation back to the church. He said, go and show thyself to yes. the priest. Yes. And one thing about those lepers, they have so much confidence. They have so much faith in God. Come on, come when on. he said go, they didn't answer the question. They said they turned and then walk off, yeah. head to the inner city. They didn't question the fact of what the law said about the lepers because Jesus said, Jesus said, go and show thyself to the priest. Yeah. Well, we got to be able to heed the forces of the law. Yeah. When he said, go, we got to move. Yeah. Don't worry about what they're saying. Yeah. Don't worry about what he's saying. Yeah. All we got to trust yeah. and obey in the word yeah. of the law. That is what those lepers did. Yeah. Or oh, they believe him. They took him at his word. Yeah. What he said, go. Oh, they didn't second guess that. Yeah. They step out. They step out in faith. They said, I will go because I know that he sent me. Yes. He has the power. Yes. He has the authority. Yes. They went without question. Yes. They went their way. They went as he commanded. He sent them to to the, the, the capital city. Oh, no. well, well, he said, well, you don't really have to go into the capital city. Any priest, he was saying, any priest that you may come in contact with, they'll be able to, to uh, check you off because the word said that they had to check them out. Yes. They had to check them out from head to toe. They had, they had to make sure that they were healed. Yes. But, but the word have us to know that as they began to walk, yes. as they went, you know, as they went, because see, 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 this is what we have to remember. When he told them to go and show yourself to the priest, it was already done. Yes. They were already here. They were already delivered. Everything had already been done. Yes. All they had to do was just take their, their walk of faith. And the word said that as they went, yes. now, as they walk in faith, he yes. said that things began to change for those lepers. Yes. As they walked, as they walked, all oh, it said that they became anew. All oh, those strange feelings went through their bodies. Yes. Strange feelings must have went through their veins. Yes. And then they felt no more disease. Yes. Their body began to renew itself. Yes. Can you imagine that, church? As you walk in the faith of God, how you used to feel, you don't feel it anymore. Yeah. Uh, how you used to live, you don't have that lip anymore. Yeah. They said that they were cleansed. Yeah. Yeah. No more sores. Yeah. Yes. No more deformity. Yes. Because they believe in what Jesus said when he said, go show yourself. Yeah. Yes. It was already done. Yes. And they walked. And as they walked, their body began to restore and heal. No more souls, and they were gone. They were able to go home. They were able to go and to be among their families and friends. They were able to go eat, drink, and be merry. And I can imagine they were just jumping, screaming, shouting for the good news. But they said that they were one. There were one among them when he experienced all of the sores and stuff being uh, taken away from his body when there was no more ache and pain. Yes. And he turned around and he went back. Yes. And he went back to Jesus. Yes. He went back and he, he fell down and he was shouting and praising the name of the Lord. Yes. He said that he came back with a loud voice. Yes. Praising the Lord. Thanking him for Thank what he had already done. Yes. Came back to Jesus. And the word says that he was a Samaritan. A Samaritan, huh? You see, the other one, they were they were Galileans, they, 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 they were Jews, and, and we know that Jews and Samaritans, they, they didn't get along. 
It ain't like one another. Oh, no. right? But it's amazing how, how sickness uh, 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 bring us together. Yeah. How we are so similar in our sickness. Yeah. Huh? So when we go to the hospital, we, we have the same sickness. There, there is no separation there. Yeah. So it is for these lepers. They were all in, in one uh, unit. Yeah. They all had the same sickness. The same disease, the same agony, the same pain. Yes. But one day were delivered. Jesus. One day were delivered. Oh, they went on and did what they used to do. But, but the Samaritan, a, a foreigner, oh, he made his way back to Jesus. Yes. They said he went back and he fell down on, on his feet and he was praising him, giving him honor, giving him glory for what he has done. Yes. So if you know what that sickness has no respect for person. Yeah. It comes to all of us. We, we, we experience that during COVID. Yeah. Huh? It just wasn't just one particular race. Everyone experienced COVID. Yeah. So it is with the situation among our, our learners in this text. They had the same shortcomings. They had the same disease because there were no respect for person. Yeah. But we do know that we all have sinned yeah. and have fallen short of the glory of God. But this leper showed gratitude. He showed gratitude to our Lord and Savior for what he has done. So we have to learn to show some gratitude. We got to show some gratitude, church. See, one thing about gratitude, uh, uh, we can't see uh, that feeling of gratitude. We can't see that thanksgiving within our heart. We can't see the appreciation that you have on the inside. That's why we got to show forth our praise when we come to the church. We got to make that joyful noise to the Lord. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm thankful. Yeah, I thank God for what he has done for me. But, but sometimes we got to show it. Yeah. We got to make that joyful noise. We got to stand up and say, thank you. Amen. Thank you all for what you have done for me. Thank you for how you have brought me out. Yeah. This is what he has said about you. Thank you, Jesus. We got to stand and show forth our praise. Yes. yes, Jesus. Like this, like David, he he. Y'all remember the story of David in the Old Testament? Yeah. He felt as though that he had to pay for uh, what had been done for him. He offered money. Uh, he wanted to give. He wanted to give a gift for uh, what had been given to him. Yeah. But we need to understand that God does not demand our praise. Yeah. No. God does not demand. Our praise. But we ought to. We ought to have enough joy on the inside. Yes. We ought to have enough praise on the inside. Yes. We ought to have enough grace on the inside. We ought to have enough deliverance on the inside. We ought to have enough peace, joy, and happiness on the inside. Yes. Yes. We ought to be able to stand up. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for wicked me up this morning. Sounding in my right now. Oh, but there are many who are not in my right now this morning. Oh, but you are spirit of hope. Oh, you woke us up. But the real proportion of him. That is why we need to give him thanks. So, yes, let him know how much you appreciate it. Let him know how much you thank him for what he has done. For us in this walk of life. Yes. Thank you for bringing me out, Lord. Yes. Thank you for turning me around. Thank you for healing me. Yes. Thank you for restoring me. Yes. 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 Not only was this Samaritan expressing this gratitude, but above all that he was acknowledging the source of his healing. Yes. The source of his healing. And that is what he was doing uh, in our text this morning. The nine lepers he uh, ran away in delight. They ran away in delight of what God had done for them. They probably were just both and saying, well, look what I've done. Huh? Not giving any credit to where it was due, but this leper came back and showed forth his praise yes. unto God. How often do we take our blessings yes, sir. for granted? Yes. Yes. How often do we take our Blessings, man, and we fail to thank God for what he has done. Yes. The psalm says, oh, that a man would praise the Lord for his goodness 
and for his wonderful words to the children of men. Yes, Lord. Too often we are content with uh, the gifts that we sometimes forget the giver. Yes. We are quick to pray, but we are slow to show praise. Yes. The Samaritans shout for joy and fell at the feet of Jesus, yes. praising him and thanking him. Yes. But the good news, church, of all that we have talked about this morning, that God wants us to draw from this text. Yes. He wants us to, to realize by this leper becoming or coming back to Jesus. He received something greater than the physical healing. He received something greater than physical healing, church. He received salvation. He received salvation. He had his cure. He was confirmed in, in, in his, his health and everything, but he received the salvation of the Lord. Could you hear God elevating him in his praise when he said that, go your way. Amen. He said, go your way. Amen. Your faith has made the whole. Yeah. That is the good news, sir. Yeah. Go your way. Your faith has made you whole. Yeah. This is the, the great thing that we, uh, that we can experience within this walk of life. Yeah, physical healing is great. But when we can experience the miracle of eternal salvation, yes. that is greater, church. Yes. That is greater than the physical healing. That is greater than the physical miracle. That eternal salvation, knowing that you are saved because of what Jesus did yes. through your walk of faith. Yes. So it is with us today because of what Jesus did. We can be saved today through faith in what he's done. When he bled and died upon the cross. He is our source, church. He is our source on this morning. Therefore, yes. let us yes. show forth our praise. Amen. In every walk of life, let us not sit down on our praise for the Lord and all that he has done for us. Amen. But sometimes we begin to think that it's something that we have done. But we realize that if it had not been for the Lord yeah. on our side, if it had not been for, for God in our life, answering our prayer, leading and guiding and protecting us, yeah. or where would we be on today? Yeah. Yeah. This is the thing that we need yeah. to remember in this world. Yeah. Sometimes in midlife, joy, or the joys of life, we forget about who made it all possible. Who it was that brought us home. Jesus. Who it was that woke us up early this morning. Jesus. And started us, out, started us out on our way. Yes. These are the things that we must remember. Yes. Remember the source. Yes. Remember the source just as that left that one that turned around and came back to Jesus. What could he possibly say to the priest? Hmm? You the one that did this for me. Jesus is the one that, that has delivered him. So he wanted to give and show forth his praise to Jesus. Amen. Not free. And when he came back, he said, Go your way. Amen. Your faith yes. has made you whole. He didn't say go to the priest. He said, Go your way. Amen. Your faith has made Amen. you whole. Amen. So I'm saying to the church, let us not Amen. forget the source. Let us not forget the sword. Let us not forget the one who made it all possible. Amen. Yes. Jesus is the one yes. who made it all possible. Yes. In the name of the Father, yes. in the name of the Son, in the name of the presence of the Spirit, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Yes. We have a song of invitation. We're going to turn the rest of the service over to the head out pastor. Amen. Amen. Amen.
continue our service. We ask that you will look on this now as we prepare for our communion service, which is found on page 7 of your hymnal. Beginning at the invitation where it reads, Christ our Lord invites to his table all who love him, who earn the repentance of sin, <clears throat> and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sins before God and one another. Maybe y'all stand with me. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. And we have not loved our neighbors. We have not heard the cry of the need. Forgive us, we pray, for your joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Hear the good news. Christ died for the while we were yet sinners that prove God's love towards us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory, Glory to God. God. Amen. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of reconciliation. Please, you can turn to your neighbor and say, God love you, and so do I. God love you, and so do I. God love you, and so do I. Yes. <laughs> we invite you now to look on with us on page 9 of uh, the Great Thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and a joyful thing. Always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You formed in us, you formed us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turn away, our love failed, and your, your love remained steadfast. Excuse me. You delivered us from captivity and made the covenant to be our sovereign God and spoke to us through your prophets. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name. And join them in the hymn. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth will be your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. Your spirit are known to him to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim the release to captives, and to recover the sight to the blind, and to set at liberty those who are oppressed. And to announce that the time had come when you would save your people. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and ate with sinners. And by the baptism of his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, deliver us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by the water and the spirit. When the Lord Jesus ascended, he promised to be with us always in the power of your word and Holy Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us, as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is died, Christ, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Pour us the Holy Spirit and us gather here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them to be to us the body, the blood of Christ. Make them to, excuse me, Make them to be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood, by your Holy by your Spirit, because one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until we come in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet through your Son Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and your Holy Church, 
All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Amen. Because there is one loaf, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The body of the Lord is here. Jesus Christ. Let's trust him. Amen. Amen. A couple we give thanks and share in the blood of Christ. Let's just say Amen. 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 So the table is now spread for all who desire to come as you are escorted uh, by the ushers.
We give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Last. 